when we talk about population characteristics and sample statistics, we're talking about taking information from people in the real world and using probability to draw conclusions about them. What you need to know for today is this. A population characteristic is a numerical statement that represents every individual in the population. Whereas a sample statistic is a statement that represents every individual in the sample and then could be generalized to the whole population. So the sample st statistic is still about the population, but only represents the data in the sample. Whereas the population characteristic represents everyone. So let's think about this. At the very beginning, I said, what if I asked all of my students what their favorite ice cream flavor was and used that to generalize the favorite ice cream flavor at Boynton? Let's say, for example, that when I asked all of my students, 42% of them said they liked chocolate best. Or in other words, 42% of them have the correct favorite ice cream flavor. So 42% of my students like chocolate. The conclusion I'm drawing based on that is that 42% 40 of all students like chocolate. And maybe I can draw that conclusion. We'll talk tomorrow about whether or not that's an okay conclusion to draw. But here's the thing. I can assume that it means that all of all of Boynton, 42% of students prefer chocolate, but maybe it's only 41%. Maybe the population characteristic is a little off. So this number would describe all of the people we're thinking about. This number would describe just the people we asked. Using this information with your partner, please go on and answer the questions that follow. We'll try A together just so you have an idea of what you're doing. For each statement, determine whether it describes the entire population, meaning it's a population characteristic, or just a sample. A, 54% of the responders to a poll at a university indicated that wealth needed to be distributed more evenly among people. So even though this might represent the opinions of everyone, only 54% of the people who responded indicated that they agreed with this. So I would say that this represents a sample. It doesn't represent everyone. It just represents the people who responded to a poll. So that means that this number is a sample statistic. It probably is fairly representative of the whole population, but we don't have any way of knowing that, so we call it a statistic rather than a characteristic. Please use this information to try the rest of number three with your partner before watching the next video.